All right, update on the 50s pickup. So all the engine's junk, it's coming out. I've got all the engine, bolt, engine mount bolts out. I only had to cut off the rear ones. Um, so box all stripped, starters off, all that. It's coming out. Um, looking for a 235 or 261 to put in it. Um, makes my life easier with the steering box being kind of in the way. Uh, otherwise, there's going to be a 350 with a turbo 350 behind it, and then some sort of rear end that'll fit under this truck, being that this is still a closed drive line. So, as the engine kind of coming to a halt, I focused myself on the interior and oh, decided to do a patch test on some rust converter, and I got a little carried away. I uh, did two different kinds. This light gray stuff is the rust check, rust killer. It worked okay, but it's kind of spendy for what you get and oh you know got a little carried away and yes that's a hole and then I was going to do just around the window because it's a little rusty and well that sort of spanned into this whole panel and the roof and anyhow I still have this front section to do I tried uh, another rust converter on this it was uh Another, I don't know, rust check of some sort, and it didn't work with beans, so now I have to degrease and re etch all this, which will be a giant pain in the neck. But that's fine. Next on my list is uh, take the master cylinder apart. If I do put a 350 in it, I'll probably end up putting on a brake booster and maybe discs on the front. Um, Gas tank is out. It's actually pretty good. Uh, there's only a little bit of rust in the bottom. I broke the pepcock off, which is kind of also a pain, but again, no big deal. These are relatively easy to fix. Uh, I started working on the box, leveling that off a little bit. Um, so I'll probably cut some hardwood blocks for that this week and get them mounted under here. Um, so you use a rubber mat, then a block, and then bolt this through. So i got to take off, I don't know, I think there's 80 bolts and all these strips that all have to come off. So that'll be a good time. Uh, they're all pretty solid, so I should be able to reuse them all. Except for those two over there. They're, they're not so good. I think that's some weight reduction. Um, I checked the wheel bearings out. They seem pretty good on the front. I haven't got to the rear ones yet. Uh, so I'll probably pull those apart, repack them. If they're in rough shape, I might put um, seal bearings on it. There's a kit you can get to do that. Uh, this rear cross piece that goes across here, that'll need to be replaced. It's rusted out and it's bent pretty bad. Um, so these pockets in the back here are rusted on the bottom on this side and the top's kind of gone off that side. Um, what else did I do? I scrubbed down the roof and part of the hood uh, just to kind of see what it might look like if I decide not to paint it. And uh, it turns out okay. Hood's not spectacular, but the roof turned out all right. Um, the door on the other side. Oh, while I'm here. So at some point, this truck was cared for because this is some um, lead bodywork from back in the day. So I think this section was replaced at some point on both sides. Again, this is lead uh, before body filler or Bondo. And then I did some vacuuming in here and I regretted doing that because, well, this sort of fell apart on me. So this is the only real like major work I have to do in the cab and it's going to be fun. fun. Um, not an expensive part, but it is a lot of work to get it out, it looks like. So I'll figure that out at some point. And then I started to take the window trim apart. Uh, just to kind of see what the window is like around the edges. It's not focus. It's not so bad. Um, it'll sh it should clean up all right. Uh, yeah, I think that's put all the. Got the doors stripped down. Um, got all those parts in the box. This was a gray interior originally, which is what my you know test patch is going to see. It was if it's going to match. It's way lighter, but. It's fine. Then I had maroon seats and maroon panels. 
so I don't have keys for this truck, which is kind of a pain, because you can buy these tumblers. They're not very expensive. Uh, but you need the key to get the old tumbler out. So if you know how to pick a lock, so you got to turn it and put a pin in and then pull it out, which is tricky to do with, without a key. Um, these are all the interior parts and the seats. So because this engine's junk, I've decided to try and finish off the interior, uh, get the good metal rust converted, get the parts, patch panels to do this stuff up here. Um, I have another spot above the window that I have to repair. It's not too bad. It's only, a th I don't know, a couple spots. It basically runs from, oh, my light fell over, from about here, over there. Um, just the little butt joint thing has got some water in it. Um, yeah. And then this side of the floor is pretty good in the front. You can't really see it that well. That side over there though, the pastor side is, it's breezy. You can kind of see those holes over there. So that whole panel either needs to be patched or I need to get the patch panel or maybe I'll buy a pan for the passenger side. I don't know. I'm a terrible welder, so we'll see how that works. Well, I guess I also moved the truck in the garage this week, so parallel parking this is a joy uh, by yourself. Um, but yeah, I got it moved over. I can get a second car in here. You can't get out of the car, but you can get it in the garage. So yeah, that's this week's update. Thanks.